Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. This is State of Society, hashtag my story, the only show that brings you stories of very ordinary people who, of course, are also doing very extraordinary things. My good name as usual is Mike G, and today I have an amazing, amazing guest. His name is uh, Peter Gitonga. He's a sound producer, a professional sound producer. He's produced sound for film and music. So, you know, it's said that music is food for the soul. And most of us, of course, resonate with, you know, that statement. We all listen to music and we have songs in our own small, small gadgets. So we're going to look at what goes into music. And remember, every show here, we try to find an X factor in the stories of these people. So let's find what's the X factor in this guy's story. Welcome, man. Thank you. Good to see you. Ah, thank you. You look nice. <laughs> Looks like the music production is not taking you very bad, eh? Yeah. yeah. So course. tell us, for the sake of the viewer who is seeing you for the first time, mm. who is Peter Gitonga and what do you do exactly? Mm. I'm the fourth born in the family of eight. Okay. Uh, all my brothers are pastors, except me. Oh. I chose music. They are pastors. They are pastors. So they are doing evangelism, they ministry. Are doing ministry, they have okay. churches, their own churches, but me, I have my you own. You are the exception. Yeah. <laughs> so when they preach, I go play keyboard. I'm, I'm also a music director. Yeah. So I direct some music mm. as I do the recording and what and what have you. I choose music because it ministers to the inner man yeah. where ones cannot reach, music can reach. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're here to discuss what goes into music. That's the primary obsession of this show. Mm -hmm. And this is because music is becoming a huge, 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 huge thing in this country mm -hmm. and beyond this country, of course. Mm -hmm. And we found music here and it's gonna stay. But I believe as human beings, you also have to advance, mm -hmm. you know, to go with time, to know what is supposed to go into good music. How does an artist advance from you know, a very low level of, you know, starting to produce music mm -hmm. to a level where you can say that this person is really meaningful. And what I want to know from you is how did this start from you, this passion, where you found yourself being an established, well, remarkable and renowned music producer? Because I understand you did music for music on a Yomi film. Yeah. And you have produced a couple of artists, including some spoken word artists. Um, and we're going to see some of his work. Uh, which, of course, some of them have videos. But tell us, how did this journey start for you until you found yourself at this level? So, uh, in the beginning, I was uh, a musician like any other. I didn't imagine that I can, I can be a producer. Yeah. But in the journey of singing, producing music, it didn't reach to my uh, the quality I needed. Yeah. And sometimes you want a song to be played a certain genre, a kind of a beat, then the producer is not able to, to, to do the, the beat. Yeah. So I decided I should go to, and do mine. I try, yeah. I get the software, I get the equipment, then I start doing it. In the moment when I'm in my bed and the song comes, I enter to my computer and lay on the song. So mm -hmm. that's how it began. I started doing my own song, mm -hmm. distributing them in the, in the YouTube. Your own written songs? Yeah. Okay. So I, you also sing? I, I also sing. Oh, okay. I have a, a YouTube channel okay. where I deposit you put my all your, songs. Yeah. You deposit all your videos there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's where it started. Then I started, people started saying, oh, you can do for us in the yeah. churches. People mm -hmm. come and they come and say, we want to do a song. Oh, yeah. how can you do it for us? So I started that and I found myself Doing music. You are based in uh, which part of Nairobi? I'm based in Juja. Oh, you are in Juja. Yeah. And you're working there in the, uh, You have your own studio there? Yeah, I have my studio. Okay. Juja. So you've now told us that you started as a person who had a passion to you know, do that, and now you are a professional producer. Yeah. The biggest part of this show is trying to identify what is that thing that we can say is an X factor in you, mm -hmm. something that you think you have that other producers don't have. What is that? Uh, mostly is that me, when you come for me to produce my a song for you, yeah. I don't last because of money. Because the money the, the money you are paying of the money you are paying. Yeah. But I focus on what have you prepared, what is your song? 
how is your song is supposed to be what beat arrangement what beat should be because yeah. somebody said what you don't take time to prepare yeah you take a lot of time repairing mm. so i don't want you to come tomorrow and tell me ah now i want to change this beat to be urban and yeah, you yeah. did the rumba then yeah. there you will disturb me and you you will it's, 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 make it's, it's my job hard yeah yeah so artists are coming from all around you yeah. and they want to produce music and what i discovered is that and it's a trend young people many people want to become popular yeah and someone is waking up every day thinking that many people wake up every day thinking that you can just go to studio and record mm -hmm. your music and hit up and become very popular what would you say should an <coughs> artist do that person who would want to be a serious artist like the process of producing a good music what do they need to do first thing is the preparation of your lyrics yeah not just a beat because everybody now is learning for a urban beat i yeah. want beat like for electronic Diamond. music yeah. i want this one i want it sound like kari kiba mm. so you don't take time to prepare your lyrics and know which beat can you fit well mm -hmm. if you fit in lumba sing lumba if yeah. you fit in zuku fit zuku me i cannot laugh but how does someone know where they fit depending on the music you listen to okay so you can so what influences you and what you want yeah, to produce also and the, the type of lyrics and the audience that will listen to your song mm -hmm. because you can't produce some sometimes these days now we we don't understand the gospel and the, the secular because the contemporary music we we, we we know it is a gospel when the, the, the song is feeding to the head when we are, we are jesus yeah and you say ah that's one is gospel when there's a mention of god jesus, jesus you know it's a gospel music <laughs> yeah Nowadays we don't differentiate. So yeah. people they have to sit mm -hmm. and then plan on what you want to, to do, not just to be famous. Yeah. To be famous, you cannot be famous tomorrow. It's like some Obama did came uh, famous, became famous within two days. Mm -hmm. yeah, he worked for work. So so uh, the music of today I don't know. We are rushing to the music has money. Yeah. But Oh, the way we have carried it is like the 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 the, the rotary, uh, the roto ama, the the the, the, the betting uh, sports betting. Yeah. You think when you sing today, tomorrow you'll be I gonna be rich somewhere. <laughs> so you're saying that what makes you different from other producers is that you take time to I take time advise the artist. Yeah, and, and there are some other artists who don't know about the beat. Yeah, they don't know about the the the, the keys. So I take, what should I take time to train the the, the, the person who's singing about the keys yeah. about the beat instead of, because I've heard some songs mm. sung in off key and you are where yeah. was the producer. Mm. So I take time to listen to you to your song, and to we arrange your song together. Yeah. Yeah. So we go to take a short break, but before we take a break, have a look at this one. It's one of his amazing, amazing work. How do we begin to teach people that they were not born a color, but that they were actually born human, and that therefore, as easily as people put on them particular identities, that our task is to undo that, so that they begin to encounter each other again, not as a race, but as human beings first. Yeah. 
shall I stay? Get lost before I lose my patience. My heart is heavy as I go home. My feet are dragging slow. For every night, my little sons and daughters want to know. Kama kutaki fanya kazi. Unataka mimi apembeleze wewe? The man is Can someone show the way? When we all start to look past our needs, we have the future. We are the future. They'll see. Okay, uh, we're back and this is State of Society, hashtag my story. In case you're joining us now, we are hosting a sound producer, a music producer from Juja. His name is Peter Gitonga. He's worked with some really amazing artists. We just saw some of his work. And we're talking about what goes into good music and what an artist needs to know before they even think of you know, going to studio to record music. Now, when someone produces their music, there is the process of creating a video. Are you, as a sound producer, involved in the video process? Not really, okay. but uh, I direct the musicians to a person who I know okay. who can do good quality videos. All right. Yeah. Who are some of the artists you have worked with in, in this country? I've worked with a few. And maybe no some, and maybe some, some, projects, some projects and you know, some, 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 some few commercials, yeah. some films I've done, I've done the, the, the Naomi musical movie. So what did you do in that? I did the sound recording and the mixing. Okay. And I've been directing about the audios mm -hmm. I did. How was the experience? The experience was challenging, but mm -hmm. I learned to, I, I, mm -hmm. they made my mind to open up, to open up, and yeah. to, to understand more. Maybe you can maybe you can break down for us how the process of creating music for film was, as compared to just producing music, which is a normal four-minute song. Uh, music, uh, the film music, the musical, the musical, the film music is different to the, the studio the song. Music. Yeah. Because mm. when you are doing film music, you have to to link up with the actors yeah. so that you get a music that is emotionally yeah. fitting to the emotions of the heart. And, the, and what they are portraying so on the screen. When they are portraying something on the screen, yeah. the music should line should up match. with that emotion. So uh, that's, it's with that part is where it's a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. Because in the, this other music is just you stand on the microphone, you sing, mm -hmm. sing emotionally, or do whatever you do, jump, sit down, yeah. and then it's all. But in film, you have to consider the emotions because the viewer will like to read the, the emotions of a person with and the soundtrack and the yeah. soundtrack. Okay. Yeah. And what are who, are who are some of the artists you've worked with maybe around this country? Uh, have you produced anyone who you would say they have gotten to a point or to a level where you can see growth or someone we already know? Yeah, I have done for, for there is a song we have done for Celia mm. with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the experienced colors, mm. the, 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 the song about the, 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 the fights and the wars in the Syria. Conflict, yeah. I've done a song for uh, Babowino. Oh, I've done uh, Babowino, the, the, the famous yeah, Babowino. Yeah, I've done the song. So he came to the studio himself or a song the, about him? The guys came and did a song about him and <laughs> they took it. I would love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear that. So I've done some other choirs, cabaret mm -hmm. choirs, mm -hmm. I've done some other songs. So they are just a few. And have people. you done for any people from outside Kenya? Not really, but a home hoping. But I've done a song of Nepal okay. at the time that there was an earthquake. If you are not doing music now, if you are not a sound producer, yeah. what would you be doing? Sound. You just be doing sound. Yeah, you can't separate me with sound. <laughs> so you're living on the sound of things. All your life is sound and sound and sound. Yeah, it's sound. Okay, okay, okay. 
So we, we, we saw some of your work and the song about Syria and Nepal is really good and some of the music videos, uh, some of the songs you've done for you know, this local dialect people, yeah. like people who sing in Kikuyu and the Southern Sudan people. Yeah. And what are the challenges you face when you are working with these people who are not originally Kenyans and they are singing their own language? That now sounds funny because mm -hmm. I laughed at them at first because they are singing that I was hearing like they are singing tanks. I don't know where I should fix their beat because they are singing like yeah. I don't I'm not understanding what they are saying. So you don't know whether so, they are emotional or uh, you know, I don't know where emotions comes in there yeah. in the song. The ones they are yani, they have a bit called us. Yeah. <laughs> you find a song a word with the hex, Y, W and they are mentioning it. So in, the, in, the, in the song, in the song I just in the, in the, in the, in the, but they are vocally pronouncing that. Yeah. yeah. Now you wonder now where should I place their beat? Yeah. But we were able to make it, mm -hmm. and now I, I, I have known some languages, mm -hmm. some few languages. That's by the South Sudanese. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we, we finish, of course, is everybody who is doing something in this country and all over the world, you face some challenges. Yeah. There are setbacks and some things you feel that they pull you down. Mm -hmm. And we would like to know what your challenges are and maybe how you cook. Some challenges is a place to, to have a good studio because sometimes we place the, you, you open a studio in a place where there is some bit noise where security is not good. Mm -hmm. Some other days some people broke on in my house and stole some screens and I was man now where is this yeah. and why is this happening? So those are the few things that happened. Some other times you, you change a client who comes to, to do his audio or his, uh, music and then yeah. they say hey, it's too much. But depending with the work you do, yeah. you find it cheap, but then they are seeing that it is too much. Mm. Yeah. And you have to find a balance between giving good quality and, yeah, and making sure that you satisfy the client. Satisfy everybody. Alright. Yeah. Those people who want to work with you, where can they find you? They can call me, they can visit my Facebook page, Toshlink Media Studios. Toshlink Media Studios, yeah. that is on Facebook. Yeah, they can find me also in Facebook as Peter Gitonga. They can find me in, Tosh, in, in Instagram, Instagram as Peter the Gitonga. In Twitter, I have Toshlink Media Studios. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Music is food for the soul. And we hope that with, you know, all this information you, we've given you in this one, we have fed your soul. And we really appreciate your watching of this show. Please keep watching and we promise you that we are going to bring you best of the best. Remember, it's all about finding the X factor in all these stories. So until next time, see you later.